Hi everyone. Today we're going to show you another helpful tip, tip on how to make your own liquid white or well, magic white. Liquid black or magic black. So if you run out or you can't find it anywhere in the stores and it seems to be a growing thing where people are having trouble finding it. This is titanium white and this is liquid black. So what we're going to do is we got some good old linseed oil right here. So you just get some good old linseed oil, put it right down beside it. About 50-50 is perfect. So just take and you mix that all together. Probably should have cleaned the knife off. <laughs> mix it all together really well. Make sure you get it all mixed in. Mash it down, whatever it takes, just mash, mash it all up. You can even put this in a jar and do it and mix it all together. But now as you can see, it's getting to be that nice creamy color or creamy texture rather that liquid white is. Now if it seems to be a bit thin here, add some more titanium white if that's thinner than it needs to be. This is probably a little bit thin, so you probably add some more white to it. Let's see what happens with the black. So I take it a separate, I separate it here on purpose really so I could just get a little bit at a time and not use too much of it. So you just mash this black together here with the uh, oil. Nice and thoroughly, make sure you thoroughly get it mixed in together. As you see, it's a little bit thicker here than the white is. So I use a little bit less of the linseed oil. And now, there it is. Magic black. And that'll work just as well on your paintings as the original liquid white or liquid black. Just like that. So I would recommend what you do is get a jar when you make up a bunch of this. Make sure it's an airtight sealing jar. And then you can just either mix it in the jar yourself or scrape it up a little bit at a time. That's the hard way to do it. But you can even take, I've even used, a, you can even take a little jar, like a baby food jar, and put a maybe a, a couple of nuts and just make a little nut you'd use on with a bolt and stick them in there and slosh it around with that. That's if you're going to use, make it quite a bit of it, you know, maybe half of a jar of it or so. And then you can mix it that way. So that's another way you can do it. So you don't need to worry about putting any thinner in it or anything else. It's already ready to go. Now you don't really want to paint with that as far as painting the painting itself unless you're Unless it was something you were going to use liquid white with or magic white with just to add a little bit to it to thin it down or whatever. Then it would be fine. But this is really just for the base coat of your painting. It will work every time. Hope you all enjoyed that tip. And uh, like, comment, and share. I appreciate it. And don't forget, we do have Patreon now. So the lowest tier is a dollar. And that certainly helps with buying paint and canvas and things like that for the studio. Y'all have a good day, and I'll see you next time.